Welcome to another Mad Girl Talk. I'm Marla of The Marla and Dave Show, but this is my series especially dedicated to the women. Now, you have to belong to this club. What do you need? Okay, it's simple. You need to be born with breasts, a uterus, and a vagina. That's it. Great, you're in. So here we go. Today, get back in the kitchen. Period. Get back in the kitchen. Everybody here probably has heard the saying that a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well... That's one way. There's another way, and we're going to talk about that. But let's talk about the stomach way. There seems to be a lot of empty hearts and a lot of empty stomachs. And that's just what I observe. And I'm really talking to the younger generation of women. You know who you are, women who just don't cook anymore. And the second way, let's talk about that, young ladies. You out there with your mini skirts on and your hot pants, hanging out in the club, you know, dropping it like it's hot. Yeah, why don't you drop those muffins like they're hot? Because consider this, there are two skills that every girl needs to really get and keep a man, and one of them is sex. I'll give it to you. The other one is definitely cooking, because for years, let me give you a little history, girls, ladies, I'm sorry, young ladies. History states that a woman, part of her, the, the essence of her femininity is her ability to nurture and, and nurture life in general. She nurtures her kids. She nurtures her man. She's nurturing. So what are you doing? Take off that skirt. Take off those hot pants. Try apron on. You can even keep your hot pants on, I'll give you that, underneath the skirt. But at the end of the day, you need to be able to actually nurture and prepare a meal. Right now, you're so concerned with finding that one per the one percenter, and you know who I'm talking about, the Kobe Bryants and the athletes and the actors and the Denzels and the whoever it is that seem to be people who are uh, making all kind of end me, ends meet. You're even desperate, little Wayne. Yeah, I threw that in there. Trying to hook up with somebody who can wine and dine you. That has become the idea that we have of what it's going to mean to be feminine. Well, in reality, you want to know why the big girl leaves the club with your man? Because the next morning, she's cooking him a meal. Bottom line. So, part of your awesomeness is your ability to nurture. Please keep that in mind. And if you're on here talking about she don't know what she's talking about, and I'm not trying to cook him a meal and tuck him in, I'm not your mama. Yeah? Well, guess what? He's probably not your man, and he's certainly not your husband, and he probably never will be. So take that to the bank. See if you can cash it. In the meantime, if you think that I'm talking like a crazy person, you have the prerogative. Shut your computer off. But I tell you what, skinny, big, tall, fat, doesn't even matter. I can cook. I've been married for almost 22 years. So... I got a man, and he's satisfied in every way. Because, oh yeah, I work both of the aspects nicely. So he's full, and his heart is complete, and if you want the opportunity to do the same, I got one, one teeny piece of advice. Get back in the kitchen. This has been another Mad, mad Girl Talk. I'll see you next time.